Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Day. Hi, Hi my baby, how you doing? My name is Claire, I like to spell it with a K, and you're welcome to a very new episode of Claire's Deck. I'm sure you're looking at this mic in front of me and you're like, oh my god, what is going on? Well, Claire's Deck is now a podcast, so let me reintroduce it as Claire's Deck, the pod. It has a nice ring to it, am I right? All right, now let's get right back into the show. Today I'm hanging with an exceptional artist. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's a rapper, he's a rapper. Like a rapper, bro. <laughs> and he's a creative director, as well as a savage who is also shy. Long story, but he's going to tell us on my deck. And also, can you guess who I have on? Grab your popcorn, grab your drink. Let's go on a quick break. When you're able to guess, we'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Deck. You're welcome back to my deck. Were you able to guess who I have on my podcast? Oh my god, like I get to say that. It's so cool. I have the one, the only Savage, the Beast. Hello, 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 guys. How are you today? Everybody's fantastic, I'm sure, right? You are? How are you, mama? I'm great. You look good. Thank you. I'm watching your energy. Mm. I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> now, you know how my show goes. So even if you don't know, I ask like the most random questions. You yeah. just have to get with it. I'm so sorry. So can we get to it? You have to be honest, by the way. Yeah, I mean, if I can't, I will just duck. <laughs> no, I'm about to yeah, take I got over. you. I got you. I got you. Right, let's get into it. Now, your debut single was Confident, yeah. right? Featuring yeah. Benson. Shout out to Savage. Shout out to Benson. I didn't watch you perform at Sincerely Benson because... Uh, you left on time. Because <laughs> I left on time. But how was that, though? How was the performance? It was amazing. The crowd, the energy of the crowd was amazing. Oh like, God. they were singing every lyric word for word. And I was like, like oh, what? What? Like, what is this? How do you know I was going to jump into Buju's body. Like, yeah, well, yeah. Big shout out to Benson. So, mm. so when you're on stage, I have this, like, curiosity because um, I know you might not have noticed, but, like, this last couple of days, I've been hosting a couple of shows. Big deal. Anyways, when I'm on stage, I just have this devilish thoughts to stage dive. Do you ever like... <sighs> a lot. Oh my God, like, <laughs> can I just jump? Will you catch me? A lot. So every, yes, time. The, every time. Every time. At the concert that you were performing, did you think about jumping? Uh, every time, I always think about jumping, but like, you know, I just control my guts. <laughs> <laughs> Fall flat for your yeah. face. <laughs> you know Nigerians, they will just give you space. Mm, they'll be like, so, Savage, I know you're a, you know, travel, travel buddy, travel boy. You could even be a travel vlogger as well. Like this. Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> you be baseball. So, I have this hypothetical question for you, right? If you could permanently move to anywhere in the world, where would you move to and why? Um, Back to Cape Town. Mm. Yeah, because, cause, like, it's very peaceful there and it's beautiful out there, mm. to be honest, yeah. So you said back to Cape Town. You yeah, because I'm Town. full. I'm fully. I'm fully back here in Nigeria. To be honest, I'm just like going there to enjoy and coming back here to work mm. most of the time. But like, yeah, I mean, I want to go live there back. Like, yeah, like anywhere yeah, else, yeah. Cape Town. Yeah, Cape Town. tasted it now, so it yeah, makes it's, sense. It's beautiful out there for you. Fair enough. I've never been to Cape Town, but I, I will be seeing you when I, you know, have the money to so. <laughs> catch you there. So speaking of work, right? What's the oddest job you've ever done in your entire life? Like the oddest. Did you ever like sell pepper soup or something? So my mom had like um a, a food mama puts. So I was always helping out to make find a yam. It's like I saw the past, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what? And a bar and all of that. So but one day I just woke up and said, Mommy, I'm not coming back here anymore. So like, yeah, that was it. Oh my. So like there was a time you actually served a bar for that was my mom, yes. Sir. With your mom, that's yes, so cool. Yeah, yeah. That is actually so cool. You know one thing, my mom's a teacher, right? So one thing I've done is I like, kept her mark scripts. Yeah, you so, feel. <laughs> yeah, man. If you were in GS3, MCSS, in like 20-something, uh, I scored you That's zero. whenever your mom gets you angry, yeah, you feel as a student. Oh. I'm kidding. I didn't mark anything. I was just helping us circle <laughs> the scores. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So where did you grow up? Um, I spent most of my years growing up in Asaba. I was mm. born in Worry, but like my parents moved us to Asaba because oh. she said where it was. She said my dad was like, "Where is too hot for you guys?" You okay. Know? To move us to Asaba, then I moved to SA like the last few years. Oh wow! So you didn't even have like a Lagos period. You went. To no, I just spent like four months in Lagos, then from Lagos to SA. That is cool. What was your fondest memory growing up in Delta State? 
I was just, I just now was a rogue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can see the, good, the coconut head in Yeah. You. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, I mean, we're just putting our shit together. Mm, okay, yeah. fair enough. Was that when you like discovered that, oh, this music people? Yeah, yeah, so I started off music like 2010, 2011 with my friends. It was a band of six called Team Nazi in Asaba. So like, it was just Wait cool, cool. a second. You're not just going to say that like, you need to just say what you just said. Team what? Team Nazi. The Nazi boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, please. Yeah, so like, there's a school called HGS in Asawa. We say, let's go to perform. It's if we all get school. So, like, mm. the girls are like us. Okay. So, let's go there to perform. Like, all the basketball court as well. Uh-uh. Jackson should, 5. You know the bars. Okay. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, we got into uni and everyone, like, you know, faced no, their sir. fronts. Yeah. Oh, okay. I even thought you guys had carried on in uni. No, like, we went to different unis. So I was in Delsu, like, one was in Anaba, and I was in mm. Uni Ben. Like, like, I had one in Delsu with me, too. But, like, yeah, well, my parents wanted me to be an engineer. I was studying uh, mathematics in uni because oh. um, they lost accreditation at the time I got into school engineering in Delsu. Mm. But the maths... Uh, maths, really? Guys, crazy. You know that I studied maths... <laughs> it's so crazy that now I'm a presenter, but I studied maths come specifically because I didn't want to do math, not because I wanted to be a presenter. Oh, yeah, for you. Like, I was running from math, math and I ran into this... I, mean, I, I love I it, by the way. Studying mathematics is hectic. Yeah. Hectic. <laughs> hectic. So you started music off there. When you guys separated, you continued in school and you just kept on doing your thing. So after, when I got into uni, right, I just stopped music for a while. I was just focusing on my edu because my parents, like, they always beat me even when I was back in Asaba mm. making music. Like, they wanted me to be an engineer. You mm. know, like, back So in, how are you able to escape right now that you're not an engineer? So um, I dropped out in, like, 300 level. Oh. Oh, I wow. went, yeah, I went to. Where'd you yes. get the mind? Well, it's one of my uncle. Sorry, uncle. He's a <laughs> mathematician. My mom was always giving me an example. Like, see, your uncle is a mathematician. He had a rap for. And me, it was, it was okay. Well, I didn't want to be like, that's my uncle. So she already sports the whole thing, yeah. always giving him as an example. Like, yeah. oh, man, leave this shit. I was, I was on scholarships, not like they were paying my school, my school fees. So, so you were like, like nah, bye, guys. Yeah, I'm out of here. Out of here, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, so your second album, right? Zere Boy. Yeah. So it's a place in Delta State. Is that that's around where, where you... Okay, that's where you're from, not yeah. where you grew up. No, that's where I'm from. Okay, that's lit. Now, this whole artist thing right now, how's it going so far? As You're basically a new generation Afrobeat artist. New mm. gen, Gen Z-ish. Are you Gen Z? No? Uh, no well, really. I'm not agree for them. <laughs> I'm not agree what you did. Yeah, well, you I did mean, it. I'm in between. I'm an old soul. Old I'm a Gen Z. Mm. I like, love it. Yeah, I mean, every year we're 18 every year. Living so, in denial. Yeah, yeah. But hey, twins. That's, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so like, what would you say the most difficult thing uh, about being a new gen Afrobeat artist is? Well, me know me, I'm an indie artist. And like... Oh, yeah, by I'm yourself? Pe- yeah, I'm by myself. No so, label? So no label. Not Crazy. Label. So like, yeah. You know how it is to be an independent artist? Yeah, we're pushing it. And God has been blessing me. So yeah, we thank God. Those are you, isn't it? Yeah, you know how it be. Huh? Okay. I don't see they can't... I mean, be a label can't afford me then. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. So sweet. Okay. Savage. <laughs> Let's go on a quick break. When I come back, I have some never have I ever questions for you. So please answer honestly. Okay, ma. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hi, guys. Welcome to Claire's Day. Hi. Welcome back to my deck. I'm still chilling with the one, the only, Savage the Beast, who's also a shy guy. Explain. How are you so savage and a beast, but you're shy? Um, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I can put out my confident vest on when I need to, though. Mm. Yeah. Especially on stage. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. man, fuck it, yeah, man. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So now it's time for never, ever, ever. Questions, all you have to do is, if you have, I mean, it's pretty clear. If you have, yeah. If you have not, you, there's no maybe. Okay, it was like, like, maybe. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe like, somewhere. Just please, maybe, guys. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> Savage, I beg. Okay, let's get to it. <clears throat> let's go easy on him, right? Never have I ever called somebody the wrong name over and over and over again. Uh, ah, what's your problem? I'm sorry. What's that name that you always get wrong? A lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I meet a lot of people every day, so bear with me. For me, it's Jennifer and Jessica. Like, I can't just... If you're Jessica, I would say Jennifer. Jennifer. 
said no Jessica. Um, yeah, I, I, mix, I miss a lot of names. Like, yeah. Sorry about that. Are you better with faces or names? Faces. Me too, yeah. right? Like if I've seen I you know before. I've seen you before. Exactly. Bro. Why would I, I know your remind name? Me, remind me, remind me, bro. Yeah. I don't know if I'm so offended by yeah. that, but you don't know my name. Like sometimes I'll be what? like, I'll be so shy to ask the person. I'll be feeling some type of way to ask the person, bro. Please remind me your name. I'm yeah. Like, hey, I remember. I remember. Dude, let me give you a trick. If you if you don't want to, I'll just be like, could you spell your name? How, how did they spell As, your name? Oh. And E M M O Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with. Okay, cool. Never have I ever been stabbed in the back. Not literally, though. I have multiple times. Hey. That's that, that brings me to a question I've been meaning to ask Savage. So not long ago, Savage posted this little rant on his Instagram story. It was like a long one. <laughs> I don't remember if it but it was basically like, I'm going to stand alone. F, fake friends. Yeah, you, you be by yourself. So what was that about? You know what I mean? Like, this guy, he just like get to get on my nerves sometimes. Mm. And I mean, I just have to cry. That day I had to cry out because like, every time I'll be picking out these knives, Yes, yeah, it's valid, you know. Yeah, you know. Cause like a lot of times it'll be especially men, eh, they are just always like, Oh, like I mean you began out firm up. Like, bro, I just ah, speak on it. Don't yeah, cry, man. I mean we have emotions too. You exactly, know? especially when it's annoying stuff like stabbing yeah. up. Like it's just annoying. I'm <laughs> um, like we like show love in hundred percent. So like mm-hmm. that energy, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and I, I like how you concluded what you said. I think I even responded to the story saying that's actually amazing. Yeah. I think you were like, I'm just gonna focus on who focuses on me and do my own thing, and that's yeah. how it should be. That way you won't get stabbed yeah, in the you back. Know? And the are wearing like bulletproofs these days. Mm-hmm. Knife proofs. <laughs> <laughs> Knife proofs, I love that. Put that into production, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Never have I ever <clears throat> shaved my head. You have? Uh, yes, I will. You've had a bald era. With, with blades. With my grandma used razor blades to shave my oh head. Oh my God, you had a bald era. Yeah, I mean, I look so cute with my <laughs> skin Boy, cut. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but can you ever go back to that bald era? Though? Yeah, why not? Now, ah, okay, mm, that's, my favorite, that's my favorite look, like like hot boy, hot boy swag. Are you know? lying to me right now? I'm serious. Like your favorite uh, look is bald. Mm-hmm. Just now, I'm just like doing like my baby boy vibe right now. Oh, go back to my. My husband is old in the blood. He's just <laughs> pretending to be yuppy yuppy boy. <laughs> he's like fifty, but he's like young. Nah, I'm fifteen again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Never have I ever cried when a fictional character died in a movie. Don't be like, man, nah, no never. I was nah. like, it's not just film. Why are you crying now? Like, <laughs> I feel like he's happening. I feel like he's, he's pretending in case his guys are watching him. Like, oh, Savage, no, 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 sure. no, okay. no, 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 I haven't. Okay, <laughs> sure. Have I'll you seen like, Titanic? I'll, yeah, I, and I you didn't never even cry. cried. Oh. Huh? Probably. Well, I was a kid now. Like, <laughs> now I'll be like, what's wrong with this guy, Sam? <laughs> you feel like... <laughs> I was a kid, yeah. Why not? Someone said you tell Jack what's wrong with What's wrong with this guy? Stand up. You're really giving her your jacket like that. So you know from anyway. <laughs> I'm fucking with Sam Jack. You're killing me. All right. <clears throat> Composure. Composure. It's doing me as if it's true. show. It's killing me here. <laughs> All right, cool. Never have I ever <laughs> kissed someone I just met. I have not. <laughs> now who they catch me teeth? Skip, skip. <laughs> now who they catch me teeth? Valid. I have not. Have I kissed you before? I don't. You don't see me. You don't see me before. Where? Valid, my guy. Valid. Never have I ever hooked up with a friend's ex. No, I haven't. Yeah, real G stuff. Yeah, I, I can't just find myself just, yeah, doing, doing that. that right? And I feel like Savage can be a snob, so I can... Ah, I'm a eh? nice guy, actually. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Savage, okay, Except cool. I not see you. Your name is Savage, bro. Like, how did you even come up with that? It's because I'm blunt. Like, I just keep it the way it is. I don't like to cut corners. Mm. Like, you know how it is. But, like, mm. I'm a nice guy. I'm a sweet boy. Yeah. Mm. Everyone, you don't, don't you know? Mm. <laughs> I'm a sweet boy. Sure. But uh, I mean, I can be mean sometimes, but like, yeah, I'm a sweet boy. Fair enough. Never have I ever had stage fright. A proper stage, don't lie. You have? Oh, how did that? Tell me about that experience. So whenever I'm on stage, whenever I get, I'm getting on stage, I'm always frightened. But once I just say, it's on God. It's on God. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the fire just goes away. Yeah. yeah. I mean, confidence gives me confidence. 
And I feel like the crowd kind of yeah. helps you. Yeah, amazing record. Amazing record. So, like, they just help me sing. I'm like, oh, okay, bars. let's go. Let's bars. Go, let's go. Let's go. I love that. So now, I mean, this isn't a never have I ever question, but it's something I'm kind of curious about. So your recent song, um, Money, Money Language. language. With the many people. Never have I ever bribed somebody before. I never buy but I've tipped. Mm, okay, that's a good job. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Or like do a good job. Mm. Oh, okay, I just do one. But money is actually the only language. Yeah, you for sure. Like growing up, I figured out growing up. Like, you know, I was one mark short on when I was on admission in uni and I just called on my uncle. Okay, go there and tell them I sent you. And this is like the song now. Tell them I sent you. It's bigger than your city. Okay. <laughs> that's actually true, you know. Yeah, yeah facts. That's the way the world works. Nepotism, facts, baby. Facts. Connection. Money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I heard a uh, wise man. I, I wouldn't call him wise anymore, Shaq, because he fought. But that time he was wise. He said the network is the best currency. And Ac- I think actually, that's facts. Actually, money comes and go. Just mm-hmm. connection, meeting people. Exactly. The right people as well. So, yeah. so who would you say is like one person that, yeah... It kind of added to the trajectory of your life. Dapper music. Dapper, Dapper music. Yeah. Okay. Dapper, Dapper actually put me on. Oh. Yeah, so like connected me to Buju, Victoria, and all these guys. Yeah. That was a while ago, though. Yeah, 2021. Wow. I didn't even start like hearing of Dapper himself this to this year. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, it's like if you're in the my, industry. My records were also part of the records that people, made people know him as well, too. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I knew your record as your record, though. I didn't know your record. Yeah, it was managing me. It was managing me at that time. Oh, so okay. I just got in the industry and, like, he put me on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then why did he stop managing? Uh, our contract expired. Oh, well, yeah, true. That's so, how it works. And, uh, and he lives out here. And there like, an artist manager who can probably manage me properly. You know? So I had found one in SA. I was, like, mm. taking care of me. Also, like, putting me in the line properly. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, I mean, that taught me the music business and how to move. Music business. Like, that's actually very important because a lot yeah. of artists just think it's just about making No, the music is just, like, 20%. Like very the, small, babe. The business is, is the cocoa. It's a lot grander than that. It's yeah. crazy. We'll get right into your music right after this break. So when I come back, I'm going to be asking Savage about... Records come in, EPs, parties, and his account balance and his pin. We'll be right back. Hi, guys. Welcome to Claire's Deck. We're back. To Claire Zek, and I'm still with Savage. And Savage is going to give me some insight on his coming project. So, Savage, yeah. are you dropping any body of work for us? Because the last one you did had, like, world and just cool guys on it. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm putting out next year, it's just music, music, two EPs, one album. Mm. Next year. Yeah. Give us a team, right up, I love it. Give me, which, which is coming first, EP, album? Um, corporate Gangsta. The That's first, the EP. The, yeah, the first EP. How many yeah. songs are you trying to put on it? Six songs. Then another EP in uh, July, June, mm. July. Then yes. an album in November. You're like 2024. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't plan you from this. All foot on gas, all foot on gas. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, will we get any features I know about? Because it seems like the first project you already have it on lock. Yeah, like you're done with it. I mean, we've got features, but I'm, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Uh, yeah, keep it on a low key. You will still soon. come back and tell us. <laughs> yeah, so I'll come fine. back. Well, yeah, let's keep it on a low for now. <laughs> okay. So, this um song that you have that's out right now, doing numbers, how has yeah. the feedback made you feel so far? It's been amazing. Like, people like it. And also, I've been, I was sending a message. So, people like, I see me like a prophet with the mm. record. Yeah, because we're just speaking facts, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. You actually were speaking facts, you know. I mean, if you want me to listen to your language, like it's just money. Mm-hmm. I didn't say it, Savage did. Fuck off, it's money. But they say, I'm class, say good guy. Uh, no, no, no. These days we like good guys, so they, they motivate us to work harder. You know, understand? My friend. <laughs> they like associate with people where they, you know, yes, that so. way. Maybe you not know, because they say maybe with it. Yeah, think. yeah, yeah. Good guys motivate you. Come yeah, on. You know, like put your shit together, dog. Like, but if you don't have the gold to dig, like, what's up? I mean, if she's a baby girl, she needs to shine too. Mm, makes sense. But I mean, like, broke boys still deserve, you know, period. I mean, it's cool. I'm not the <laughs> <laughs> like, They still deserve it. That's what I said. They still deserve it, right? Yeah, yeah everybody yeah, should I be mean, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, I get that right yeah, now. Yeah, but 
Well, they I do. Know, we, 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 I know that's right. Right. Anyways, I like to do this thing I like to call what's your ick for the week? And what I'm doing this week? No, no, no. What's your ick? So basically, what's that pet peeve a person would do that kind of just irritates you, but it's not really a thing? Like for me, for instance, a random pet peeve I could have is we're out to dinner and you're chewing out loud. Or exactly right or I'm on a line and you're so close you're breathing down my neck mm, or maybe mine would be like you talking so loud and we're just like sitting ne- right next to each other like, <laughs> 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 big brother relax we know the fight I'm like you inside voice yeah, bro relax relax, relax. I can't hear you bro I love that <laughs> so apart from the projects apart from the album what else should we expect from Savage next year? Next year, I haven't dropped my collection in a year now because I've been working on the music. You know, I have a clothing brand called Savage Space Couture. Mm. And yeah, we're doing a pop-up in January. Okay. Uh, Nigeria, London, South Africa. I don't know. Any other places? God, we when? We'll find out soon. God, when? I need a date and time at this point. Just kidding. All right, cool. <laughs> that's amazing. I might have it. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, you get some free merch too as well. Great. Gotta rock, I'll rock it here. So you go and see the merch here. Amazing pieces, amazing pieces, guys. I love it, I love it. Yeah. So you're a creative director, you make clothes, music. What don't you do? What's that one career that you know you cannot dabble into even if they paid you a lot of money to do? Like teacher or something. A lot of money, savage money. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please, I don't know. As long as money's involved, yeah, I'm, I'm ten toes, I'm grounded. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I ask you to maybe be like, I don't know, carpenter. I mean, there's money in carpentry. There's money inside now. Uh, there's people are going to hammer the thing. What's that? I'm going to hammer. No, we need to hammer. As long as the check is right, why not? I'm going to hammer. I'm here for it. Yeah, That's the vibe. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for pulling up on me. I appreciate you for having me. Thank you, man. I, I, and I told him I like it. He said he likes my ring. I told him I like his. Let's swap. My and hand, we laugh. My fingers are like... What's funny? My, my hand is small. I cannot say Of course, it. it's the size that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was I, like, yeah, sure. All right, cool. It was nice to see you. All right. Nice to see you, man. And over to you. It was so nice hanging with you today. If you want to catch me off the whole pod or TV, but online, you can reach me on K-L-A-I-R-E-L-N-Y-E-K-A. What do you call it? Clare the pod? Huh? What do you call it? Claire, Claire Claire's the deck... The pod. So Let's the pod the wasn't pod. there before. Yeah. <laughs> this is now. I don't know. I would think of something else. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, what about you? What's your socials? Savage the underscore beast. Savage the beast. Okay, you heard it. And if you want to catch us, um, Pop Central, just add Pop Central TV. This is Pop Central, actually. And Pop Central TV on YouTube. So I'll be talking to you in your ears and on your screens next week. Mm-hmm.